Good morning, it's uh, Johnny from Johnny Snowplow Services. It's January the 12th, uh, Sunday right now. We had a bit of a system come through overnight. Lots and lots of rain to start. Lots of flooding everywhere. And then uh, it's now 6.30 in the morning. And when I left the house at 4.00, they were calling for temperatures to drop down. It's actually now minus one degree Celsius. And when I left the house, it was at zero. So it's it's been kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of a funny storm. They kept calling it the huge winter storm. Well, yeah, technically it is a huge winter storm because it's in the winter time. <laughs> it's not necessarily snow until now uh, about six o'clock this morning it's changed over transition from uh, rain to ice pellets now it's starting to snow a little bit so I've been out since four uh, you know selectively salting some of the properties because being Sunday some of them aren't open so I'm uh, doing the ones that needed to be done like I've got a couple of gas stations that uh, I look after so they were done first I've got a, a gym and it's open on Sunday so the place never used to be open on Sunday but now because there's a gym in there it's open on Sundays and right now I'm sitting in a small plaza that I look after a little tiny strip mall um, it's got a convenience store and um, there used to be a martial arts place here, but it's I guess it's not no longer there. And there's a Chinese restaurant and a dog groomers. So the only spot I think that's open today might be the either the Chinese restaurant, but it possibly isn't. But I know for sure the convenience store is open because they're open every single day. And um, so I'm here right now i'm just preparing to put a little bit of salt down i just want to the, they're calling for the snow to dissipate around seven ish by the look of the radar it's kind of looking like eight but anyways um how do you guys deal with your freezing rain situations um for me um I don't know it's always been a battle for freezing rain because um, you know if you go out too soon you're gonna dilute your salt if you go out too late um, well then it's too late somebody could slip and fall within that time period but um, I don't know freezing rains always been a one of those things that's I find it's very very difficult to battle um, you know snow is easy you plow it you salt it um, I usually pre-salt my lots so this this lot here probably had some residual salt left on it from uh, before um, a few days ago in fact but um, I mean I'm seeing a little bit of melting through the center um, as the snow's coming down, but um, not sure if not sure if that's uh, well. Yeah, it's got to be some residual salt there, because but on the sides, it's not really doing much. Um, this year, I've changed over my operation a little bit. Um, I used to run a, a V box salter. Um, I've got two different ones, but the truck that I normally run them on broke down this year, so I um, I was forced, and I didn't want to do it, but I was forced to turn my half-ton truck. I've got a half-ton Dodge Ram, um, 2013. I was forced to turn it into a plow and salt truck, so I've got a tailgate salter on this truck. And I got a seven and a half foot Western straight blade, which the Western straight blade works awesome. I actually really enjoy plowing with it. 
Um, my other truck was a Ford F-250 2009 and, and it had a Western MVP on it, um, eight and a half foot. And it's nice for scooping the snow up into the piles, but you know, stacking it's pretty good. You can stack a heck of a lot higher than you can with a straight bleed. But I prefer how the straight bleed performs as far as scraping it down. Um, I think it does a, a better job. It cleans it down to the pavement a lot nicer. And I don't even have a new cutting ed edge on it this year because I had to kind of get it done in a hurry, get it on this truck. So uh, next year I'll have to put a cutting edge on it or throughout the summer or whatever. Um, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping not to plow with this truck next year. I'm, I'm uh, trying to get a different plow vehicle for next year because I want to keep this truck as long as I can. But it is what it is and if I have to do it again next year I will. You know this, you know we're January right now and my blue truck, the the transmission blew out of it in the first snowfall so <laughs> it's uh I don't know I've had a couple F-250s now and they've, they've both been junk so um, I used to plow with a Dodge in fact this plow came off of a Dodge um, 20, uh, 250 or 2500 sorry no actually yeah it was the Dodge D250 that it came off of and it's been on two Dodges before this one now this is the third Dodge it's been on so um, like I said I really enjoy the way it plows um, the truck itself it's a little light but it does the trick um, so far I haven't had to use four-wheel drive to plow so far I mean it's been like kind of light snowfalls we've had a couple of you know two inch snowfalls and uh, one time it was four inches but it looks like uh, next week we're gonna be looking at you know four to six inches of snowfall coming like Saturday I think um, so we'll see how she performs then so I I've cut down my operations uh, like I said this year I've uh, I sold off a bunch of my properties in a different uh, area that I serviced and um, you know I thought well geez going back like five years and I'm, I'm like oh I gotta get all these properties and grow my business and um, it was great for a little bit but then I couldn't keep up and a lot of people you know we started to get some heavy winters and uh, people were getting pissed off at me so I uh, I did the best job I could and finally this year uh, before we get into the winter time I decided I was gonna sell and I did and I sold half my properties off and I'm way better off now than I did that because I've been able to keep up and well I mean look at uh, I'm, not, I'm just sitting here right now doing a video <laughs> and uh, you know I've, I've been out since four but I always now I get a chance to stop and relax a little bit sometimes you know I'm, I'm not in such a panic to get things done whereas before it's you know I'm in one area and then I had to race over to a different area to get my gas stations done and then race back over to continue plowing and then you know then the phone starts ringing and then it doesn't stop so so far this year I've only had the phone ring maybe twice and it was just because the, um, the snow started you know after I think it was after seven o'clock in the morning so you know by nine o'clock I've had a couple people phone me wondering if I was coming and you know I have to explain to them hey depends on the time of the snowfall like when I'll get there but yeah you know don't worry um, I have never not shown up to the property so they're usually pretty good um, 
the, all the customers I have now are really awesome. Um, I don't have any issues with the customers I have. A couple of them are a little bit slow paying, but they do pay. So, I mean, uh, if I can get them to get a little bit quicker, they got to understand that uh, when you're in a business, service business like this, it's all about cash flow. You got to keep the cash coming in because cash is going out whether you like it or not. And, um, you know, you're, you're doing a service for people and you know they got to understand that they got to they have to pay on time and you got to do your part too you got to bill on time because if you don't bill on time you're going to get you know they're going to get the bill late and then they're going to pay late and then you know it's just a, a pain in the butt um <coughs> Yeah, so uh, it's starting to slow down now, and it's not snowing light, light flurries right now, So, which is good. The radar, like I said, it's at about 7.30ish, I think. So I think it's pretty much stopped now. Anyways, that's I'm going to end that here, and, um, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, I guess like everybody else says, like and subscribe. We'll get some more of these videos out. Take care.